Hey guys, it's Johnny. Welcome to Johnny Newman Presents. Hey, today I want to talk to you about five things you need to do to, to get started on whatever you want to get started on. Uh, it doesn't matter what category. It is just about behaviors that you're going to have to employ. Behaviors that you're going, you're going to have to work on and grow and develop and, and add to um, your daily grind of, of wanting to success. You, you have to start doing things. You know, I have this, I have this picture up uh, behind me, and this really represents who I am. Like, I constantly have multiple things in front of me as far as, like, you know, my laptop to, um, you know, my notebook, writing things down to execution of things. You know, obviously, I'm doing this video, so this is part of my 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 notes this is part of what i'm doing to to present things to you guys and of course i'm going to have some more guests on as well you know just so people could listen to stories and understand people's stories but these are going to be five things that you need to start doing if you really want to move in the right direction and start executing on the high level and i'm coming up with, coming up with an idea just to see what to show you guys what it takes to honestly become an entrepreneur and i'm thinking about starting something from scratch i'm not sure yet i'll update you guys this is the thought that came to my head um last night and i'm still hammering out the details of that and um trying to figure out what i can do to um for you guys, so show you guys the process of entrepreneurship at the same time, the success and pitfalls of entrepreneurship, right? Um, so let's begin. Yes. So this is, I'm going to call this the, the five things you need to do to be a fucking entrepreneur. Plain and simple. It's a five thing. And, and, and again, I use that as a disclaimer. Not everyone's meant to be an entrepreneur. Yes, I said it. Not everyone's meant to run a business. Some people are meant to have long careers or just a career in something that's perfectly fine. There's many people who have careers who make six figures up to millions of dollars, um, but they go forward and make sure they have some habits. And I'm sure a lot of these habits I'm about to give you is what they do um, for themselves. But there's a five things you need to do to become an entrepreneur. Cool. So, number one, wake up early. That's right. Wake up early. Get some more time in. Start creating a routine. Get a schedule. Wake up early. Get things done. You know, I'm right now recording this. It's a Sunday morning. The family is still sleeping. You know, I walked the dog already, but now I'm making my content, you know, for the rest of the week. Um, and I'm, Picking one day out the week to do that. But I woke up early today to get things done. You know, and then after that, I still got to do my dad things, right? My, my, my husband things, right? My to-do list that my wife has. Um, that doesn't stop. So wake up early. Incorporate your time in a way that's going to be conducive to your workflow. That means if you really have a job, that's fantastic. Wake up earlier to work on your side hustle. You get, you know, your side hustle. Um, stay up later as well. You're going to have to give up something. And time is what you don't have a lot of. So you're going to have to extend your day to fit more things into it. And you only have so many hours in a day because you also need sleep. So figure out um, how much sleep you may need to be functional. But it's going to be some weeks <laughs> that you're going to be exhausted. And But the grind from it and what you get from it is going to be huge. So Waking up early is one thing that I always do, okay? And again, figure out that time for you. Um, not everyone is on the same timeline or, or what they where they can work with. So figure out what's early for you and make that happen. Get some more hours in. Number two, studying successful people. Man, I have a gang of books next to my, my bed. And I do that on purpose because these are books that are in my face and that force me to read every night. So every night I read an hour 
where I try to read uh, 50 pages at least every single night. And I'm consuming these books and I'm learning new habits. These are great things to do. Um, and you, you get to know how people become successful and what makes them so successful. And it's the grind. It's never giving up. It's always doing it all the time. So number two, study successful people. Because it makes no sense to study bum-ass motherfuckers, right? So number three, taking massive action into whatever you're doing. That means... Like me right now, I'm taking massive action. I'm recording this video. I'm giving you some topics to look at. I'm going to post this in probably five different social media outlets, like my Twitter, my Facebook, my Instagram, my TikTok, and my YouTube channel. Five pieces of, of content that be made up off of this one piece of content. Um, and I probably should have a blog, and I should, I, should, I should probably put this on a blog as well, right? Maybe I'll make a website today. I don't know. <laughs> but these are things that you have to take action on it, get things going. If you want to be a YouTuber, then figure it out. You don't always have to show your face to be a YouTuber. You can work your way up to that. That happened to my wife in the beginning of her YouTube channel, a lot of these things. She didn't want to show her face. She wasn't comfortable. And then after a while, she started getting in front of the camera. She felt more comfortable and she's better for it. Again, there's many different ways you can do and activate your life. Take massive action. Number four. Living a healthy life. I already got comments that I'm look. I'm losing weight. It's, it's shedding off. You know, people want me to do more on my weight loss, and I, I probably will do that. Um, but get healthy. The healthier you get, the more energy you get, the better you feel. Your mind will be clearer, be less toxic. And man, it's working for me. I, I, I feel more motivated. I don't feel as as lazy and drawn down. I, I feel I feel great. I feel good. I'm, I'm ready to move and make things happen. So make sure you do that. Make sure you, you you take your health seriously. If you haven't gone to the doctor, got your physical yet, I encourage you highly to go do that. Go get a full physical. Get some lab work done. Let's see where you're at. If you need to become my medication, like I had to take high blood pressure medication, and I've been on it for about a, uh, two months now but I'm working on my weight loss to see if I can get that down. I'm, on, I'm just on a water pill for right now. My doctor thinks I can really lose, uh, to get off the pill once I, I shed a few more pounds. I'm going for 100 pounds, guys. That's right, 100 pounds I'm trying to lose. So let's go. And number five, this is the last one. Reviewing my goals. Review your goals every day, twice a day, three times a day. Review them, review them, review them. And another tidbit, break your goals down to, to actionable items you know you need to complete in order to achieve those goals. It's great to have the, the, the grand mountain that you see, right? But you, how do you climb up that mountain? How do you get to the summit, right? That's your goal. You're going to have to find a pathway there. You're going to have to either make your own pathway there. Find out what's the actual steps you need to, to go after your goal and make that happen. Um, hence, I, I wanted to lose weight. I know I've tried everything under the sun, and it just wasn't consistent for me. But I joined Weight Watchers. Now, plug for them. I don't get paid by them, but I joined Weight Watchers, and I'm using their app, and I'm tracking every day what I'm doing, and it's making me more mindful of what I'm putting into my mouth, into my body. It's an amazing thing when I say write something down. I've been saying this for years already to you guys about writing things down, right? And I have a book. I have another book actually in my car, uh, a smaller book. And I write things down. I just don't write them down to forget them. I write them down to execute on them. And yeah, people still can use their, their phone and stuff like that. And, and if that's, you're, you're, that's fine. I prefer a book. I like to take my pen to paper and write it down. To me, it just feels more like it's, okay, I got to make this happen now. You know what I'm saying? Look at your goals, get things going, and maximize on your potential. It's 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 you that you want to do this, right? So make it happen. You can continue making somebody else rich, or you can make yourself wealthy, right? And I said wealthy, not rich. And I said holistically, even with your health, your health is wealth. Remember that. You know, I'm 43 years old, and I'm making moves that I, I, I should have made 20 years ago. But I'm not going to be a shit could have would have. I'm doing it now. I'm taking massive action. So I encourage you, 
on those five steps. Go ahead, do your thing, and um, let's make some shit happen for yourself. All right, guys, peace out.